Hello everyone, it's Peter here, Piotr Fister. How are you doing, guys? Hello. So, those who watch this YouTube channel on a daily basis, I mean weekly basis, daily basis, depend how quickly I'm putting videos and I'm too busy to put them so quickly. We had a huge tidy up of the space. You've got two new rockings. Well, one was here and, and second is over there. It's it's getting far better than it was. I've got an easy access to the table at the back now and I can go back to the tellies. But I've ordered a King Kong 9 from Cubot phone, rocked phone. And it's an awesome phone, I can say, and super cheap comparing to any other uh, phone over there okay so if you don't know this it's worth checking for sure i bought it off aliexpress i can show you here but there is an additional video which i'm not talking in it because i thought the, the voice is recording i don't want to open um let's say the same conversation what they have over there had over there but everything is explained even on the videos and prices are shown and it's shown as well that i received two watches rather than one yes so this watch is not to talk, it's just to send you notification, monitor your heart rate, which is, by the way, 81 at the moment, and I've made 3,900 steps. I've switched on notifications, you, there is an app, and you can easily get this app going and set up which apps you want to send you push notifications to the phone. Uh, this has 10,000 over a milliamp hours battery, and it's awesome. Uh, I'll show you photos and I'll I only will tell you from user experience if you want to see me unpacking it from the original packaging without me uh, talking as a voice because I was talking but it wasn't recorded and I don't think I'll, you'll get an extra value if I will be just uh, doing voiceover for that video so I will just attach it in the description and in the pinned post a dead thin comment underneath this video so you can watch it but let us switch back to the window i had and let us switch to the photo so that's a photo made with this um i can say that you know it is it is like that's google photos so that's you know that's slowing down but if, if you are just doing automatic photos, it's not great. Yes, you can see the crispness already and you can't read from this chip. Yes, here, you can't. So you need to, as well as with my one, like here I've used macro and look, the macro was fine. The macro was awesome. Yes, whereas on my Motorola, I was struggling sometimes. That's macro without the zoom. That one was macro with a zoom, yes? so. You can see that you can uh, clearly read from the chip. You see the crispiness, everything here. That's a photo burn marks here on the on the floor, um, and you can see dusty, dusty. But here is over, um, you know, over the moon with the lightning. Here is is okay. Yes, uh, these are because this was moving. Okay, and it just. And, or I was moving with a camera, yes, yeah, so that's why it's caused that. Now, this is the same, I don't know what's the difference in between. Here is no uh, flash, okay? So you see that the picture is not really great. You can, you can see that the difference um, is, well, the, the camera is, is good, but you need to learn to use it, yes? Now it's another place here, messy place. Um, you can't see what's what's inside yes you can't see dust perfectly on it so that's with a night vision on you can see clearer um, it's not great but you can see that it's 1x yes here this I think it's PlayStation 4 slim I think and now you can see now it's with a flash you can see dust better yes better this does you can see those consoles in a better way yes so it does change uh, a lot by only using this and now this is taken with my Motorola G7 power so with my uh, X phone now yes um, you can see that 
that this phone is really rugged it's ip68 i think all the ports are covered in that it, it has one additional as well button for the back uh, display oh hold on a wee second i'm pressing the wrong that button is programmed okay this button is programmed uh, this this button is programmed and you can use it for um, for anything you want almost like i mean it's limited but it's it's programmable to the way that you can really use a lot of features on it that's charging port and that's you see has a screw so if you would damage it ever you could replace it so we will be trying i will be trying to use it that's the top of the phone yes that's the back of the phone still sticker is on it and as you see it has three cameras and the flash yes so you can check specifications online and i was showing on the first video you can you can scroll this and you can see a number of features on this display i would say that's overkill this 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 display is an overkill it would not be needed to be true now the phone number is wrong i don't know why it's reading wrong number i think what have happened was that i was having this number and um that was the number on the sim but then i was asking to change the number and i think that was the previous number so this this phone number is not my number yes yeah, so it's okay now it's 12 gig of, of ram you can see that the 12 gig of ram and plus there is a boost i was showing that on, on another came with android 13 uh, 256 gig uh, you see the battery capacity is huge yes and that's humongous but it's huge uh, there are twice of the size uh, batteries 22 but uh, you know to be true this one is, is awesome yes so then is expansion for the ram you can reach up to double the ram i mean well 24 gig of ram uh, but I do believe that that will take your storage space. So that's mean NVMe or the SSD, whatever is installed here. Now the subscreen settings are quite a few here. You see dimming time and backlight time, the resolution and everything, you know, all of it is here. It's like a lot. Then the speed on this phone was not bad actually. Actually in this room, 133, that's that's actually good for the phone. It's it's actually great. It's it's really nice. Now I have no problem, you see I've got two bars of the reception. On my old phone, I had no reception in this place. There was one place where I could get the reception. So guys, from a user perspective, I have a reception back in this room okay so i really struggled with the reception and i can't show you because there is no card at the moment but at this place where they are both lying you can call me and i will pick it up no problem if the same sim card would be in my g7 power which is four or five years old phone you you don't have reception or you've got a really poor reception and you can't talk you can see that somebody is calling you I need to put it here and then when it will be here i will be able to sort of talk but it's still not good whereas this one i can i can walk in this room and i get a reception the camera has a micro and the night vision which already i've proven myself you need to take time to learn it and then if you know what you're doing you will be um you will be satisfied for me for electronics it's really if m 32036 chip can be seen with this that's awesome 100 megapixel camera and i don't believe you know that that can still be compared to the dslr but um at, at the end of the day it's still okay yes it's still okay i will put um i will put maybe a few photos if you would want but comment down below if you would want it to see photos straight from the phone i took them out i was comparing to the motorola don't get me wrong motorola as well is a is not a bad uh, phone when it comes to the photos i don't know if i'm able to see yeah i've got photos uh, let me open something from motorola here oh okay so we've got here a photo from motorola and let me 
grab that's a window that's a chrome that's explorer and that's photos hmm, i can't see okay guys you know what i i want uh, but motorola is not bad yes and i can say that i'm happy with motorola as a user experience this phone is significantly better it's nothing to be close by reception better um i'm tempted to replace the screen on this one because there were a number of reasons why i'm upgrading the phone now one uh, some things can switch on automatically on its own and as we know that can be the touch screen fault so uh, the screen itself is fine but the touch screen is faulty I don't know if by replacing the surface of the touch screen I could fix it I've got no idea I haven't done it on Motorola G7 power so I can't tell you um, the next thing is even if I will replace the phone sometimes the, sometimes this phone is freezing uh, you can see it working if somebody's calling you it's it's calling and, but you can't press anything you know you're just pressing and, and nothing's happening so I don't know if those two folds are relevant to each other so even if I would change it you know I don't know then the reception yes yeah? so those those two things uh, or maybe even three things are faulty and don't get me wrong it's still a good phone it's still you know it still can be used because i'm using it till now um, i will be only switching my banking apps after a day or two if this will be okay so that i will have everything on that one and, and there was something else as well which i had an issue with on this phone i can't remember right now well and of course smaller store storage as well yes so overall as a user experience yes this phone rocked phone it's i would say for many people can be too big and too heavy and my wife had a game called what this game is called merge dragons okay merge dragons some i don't know if you will be able to see this icon that's that pinky that's this icon um so she was um she got a note nine and on her phone she reached a point that she used so much of the resources of the phone that this game stopped uh playing yes so she took my Motorola g7 power no way that that wouldn't turn on the game at all but when this came she she took it and she was able to log into the game remove some of the inventory um not the inventory but you know some of the items in bubbles and then she was able back to log in and she's playing on her phone back again so that's showing that this is a really capable phone comparing to the note 9 in that matter and uh, it's quite cheap because i paid on the world premiere day 157 pounds if you would watch the second video which will be attached to this video you will see it exactly and instead of getting one watch i did receive second watch for my wife so happy days yay good cubot cubot made i did this video is not sponsored in any way uh, i i never had a penny from them well i had a bribe second second watch but to be true i was looking for the phone which we can use um phone to, a few phones which we can sell okay at entity and this phone came with additional screen protector because it's looking that this already has it i already wrote to the seller and i will write to the customer support as well is it true that this phone has it if so i won't be installing if they will confirm that no it's just the way the design is made so you can look that it it has a screen protector but they've sent it so that if you want you can attach it and um, to that i need to clarify still and then I've got a forward zero, zero stock uh, on applying screen protectors. So I need to make the shape of it and print it out from, from this one as well. Compare, you know, if, if I can do it, then I can have screen protectors uh, cut it at any time when I want it for this phone. 
and then I've spoken with a customer support and they were keen to say that they can supply spare parts for this phone or for their other phones so I was thinking that maybe we could put like 10% margin maybe 10 to 20% margin depend how much how you know what will be the price of the purchase and we could resell it in the UK and offer spare parts for it that's mean you would always have available display charging port charging AC um, even the whole board which is at the bottom because if you d watched the disassembly video there is one Polish I think Polish channel I think and second some other English I think or some maybe not English but English language uh, as well so you can see when they are disassembling uh, that there is a small board and that you need to remove the screen in order to reach to the bottom of it and so uh, yeah and so that's it so if I will be able to verify that the quality of this phone is fine then we will probably consider this phone as we will be selling it because there's many people who want phone for about two to three hundred pounds and accessible uh, cheap screens and ports and everything yes and this can offer that guys this can offer that i know that motorola had a problem with um privacy issues so some people don't like but to be true what what they will do you know like what they will do with your data um, so some people might say no and they will go for samsung iphone or google yes and that's true or some other like oppo and so on but many people will be okay you know many people will be okay to spend two to three hundred pounds knowing that there is a display for it and all the stuff which needed are for it available and then with a racked phone all those things like you know scribble cover here or or here yes it's you know if you've got those extra bits and when you're buying the phone you're not worried that oh um, I bought a phone and I won't get spare parts because Inter team will be there to provide these spare parts so if we're going to sell this phone in a few months time from the day of the of this video and you are a member of the Inter team then we are able to provide better price for this phone and spare parts for this phone and then repairs of this phone so you don't have to go and buy iphone or you don't have to buy samsung if you can see the quality in our shop here and that it's it's a good quality and uh, in that case you know you, you can see it firsthand and you can say yeah really it's it's a nice phone yes so in this case if you see that it's a good phone and if you see that uh, the price is not bad you're more keen to go towards this phone than spending six to nine hundred pounds or more for the phone which then later the cost of the repair will be huge as well yes and so yes I, I, but that depends as well on the number of availability of spare parts for those phones because i would like to get x70 i think it's a model which is from qbot and that's really similar or the same apart from the battery because that has only 5000 battery and it's not um racked phone yeah so it's not that bulky um but at, at the end of the day the specs are the same or really similar apart from those two so then the phone is lighter as well yes and then if we would have those two phones so racked phone and the regular phone and then you've got those phones in about that price then you know you come into us for instance to fix something and we say look it's 200 pounds to fix it or here's another phone rocked or regular one they've got the same specs only the batteries are different and this is rocked this is not yes so this is lighter and you know and, and just easier to carry everything is so if you don't want to kill someone let's face it you know <laughs> your choice will be quicker uh, but if you have some naughty mind then who knows maybe you'll take the rock one but that's it guys that's everything <laughs> apart from this joke and that's that's everything and uh, what i have in mind mm, what else i can tell you from the user experience 
for now everything is okay uh, I will be going on a holiday so when I will go on a holiday that will be a good test because that will be abroad and that will be next month so then after coming back if I will see that this is not freezing not glitching not, no issues I will be considering to buy second phone or that x70 maybe and I will buy you know those spare parts all common spare parts for them and if I will be able to replace these parts and see that it is working then I can say yes okay so we can for real resell those uh, phones and we can start to get them and start to get spare parts for them and then we can we can start it definitely but till then i will be making tests on my own and i will be checking and if it will turn out a good phone then that's that's what the future is because i do believe uh, our customer database which is growing on a daily basis actually um, it's now reached a point when people are trusting us when it comes to the purchases of their electronics and when i can trust something i'm happy to share it with our clients and then i am happy for them to choose something which i know i can fix it for them yes so that could be the choice i was checking other phones there is a number of those phones to be true and only because i I've, I've caught it on the world premiere day then then i found it yes now don't get me wrong there might be better phones but i i would say this is good enough um, for an average user yes so if you think there is much better phone than this one comment down below i can check it out but for now my decision is on the qbot because their customer support is really responsive um, the seller which is uh, which were which i've used in person it's it's very responsive as well they are keen they are really trying to help you and as you see there was a world premiere and i received even a free gift and they are really trying you can see they are really trying so if they are trying i don't know how those other phones which you are buying from the main seller yes how they will let's say be open to help because if we don't get help we can't pass this help later or we can struggle for our customers and our customers we want to give them always five, five star rated services so i would say that's the best way to go if we can be happy with it for sure our customers can be happy and then everyone can be happy uh, from those who are using well not those samsung and apple guys or Google which can't have sales from their phones because now their customers are running away to the competition yes so guys that's it that's everything thanks you for, thank you for watching if possible leave a like button or, or something here and I'm really trying to be uh, open to those other brands than those major brands and uh, i really want people to start noticing them because then those top brands need to have it into the consideration that they will start after a few years they will start to have less customers and noticeably and then uh, noticeably and then they should start doing something because the prices for those top brands samsung can be no dearer than iphone really it, it it's really that that time but it is you can compare it so i would say no do you really need edge phone you know or or flip phone do you really need it uh, or is it just advertised well so that you will be keen to go for it and then spend 1000 and more on the phone and then regret it when your screen is damaged and you don't have insurance yes so i would say let's be reasonable and let's go for something affordable and not necessarily rugged but robust yes guys thank you for watching see you in the next video and if you have any thoughts about it please share them down below thank you bye bye